Oh, how did I get to Manzanilla? Yeah. Uh, we actually came to Manzanilla in this vehicle right here, which uh, we actually just went to one of the better local uh, car rental places. I believe it was Econo Cars in uh, in Port of Spain, um, and rented this car. It's actually been a beauty, man. It's been getting us to and from where we need to go. Very reliable, and without it, we'd be lost. So. I'm Desiree Roberts, originally from England, moved to Trinidad in 1997, have been living here ever since. This is the first time taking this trip. Um, the Hollow Monkeys are pretty cool. Noise is a little scary for those who have never heard it before, but... The call that they do is, is amazing to me. It sounds like there's like some big animal off in the distance that's like getting ready to jump out and gobble you up. Um, I would recommend this tour because it's really exciting, it's extremely informative, it's highly educational and it's a lot of fun mostly. Oh man, I would recommend this trip just so you can actually get out in the nature and see the vast array of things it has to offer. I mean we saw butterflies, birds, monkeys, crabs, mangroves, sandbox trees, ficus trees, um, a number of things that, that it's, I think it's important that people get a little bit more in touch with nature and know what's out there and actually go and experience it. So I, I would definitely recommend this tour to anybody that, that, that visits Trinidad. Cunaham Village is a place that we go to after Nariva Swamp, usually to get our lunch. Normally we have families there that provide us with fantastic food. It's a predominantly East Indian community uh, so, of course, we have Indian food when we go in there. Okay, can we open up? Ready? That is bus up shot. Bus up shot. Bus up shot. Bus up shop, bus up shop, and China is what I've been digging into. Yes, it is very similar to Roti. And then the China is what comes on the doubles, which is my favorite. But this is better. Yeah, it's, it's really good food. It's like Trini soul food. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Sorry, I had to stir that line, David. <laughs> Now we're in St. James. They say it's the street that never sleeps. I'm going to show you around. We're going to try a few of the different flavors it has to offer and see what we think. All right, let's go. All right, I'm standing in front of Booker's Burgers, where you can get an assortment of different meats thrown on the grill, tossed on a bun, and whipped into a burger. You can get fish, chicken, lamb, beef, hot dogs, anything you want. I'm going to go with the lamb today and see what it's like. All right. What was that you just put on? That's special seasoning. Special seasoning. Right. Anything okay. special is always good. Right. What's special here is customers get to dress their burgers by themselves and it's prepared with a lot of love. Uh, she just informed me that the customer actually can dress the burger themselves. So I'm going to dress them. The lamb burger is really, really good. 23, 23 TT. Again, about $4. The diversity of Trinidad is reflected here in the food on St. James, and I highly recommend that you come check it out and see what it's all about.
In this season of Trinidad and Tobago, we have witnessed a wide variety of culture, food, lifestyle and adventure. We receive much assistance from locally based sponsors such as car rental companies, hotels and restaurants. But a lot of our production could not be made possible without the help of the local small businesses and families that granted us a somewhat intimate access into their worlds. This is where you